the solar arrays on the hills of Bamyan have made life better for some in this ancient valley. For Mohammed Youssef Baba, the electricity means he can work longer hours and make more money. When we didn't have electricity, we used a generator. We had to wait until 10 in the morning to use it because we had to let it warm up. That wasted a lot of the day. Now we have 24 hours worth of electricity. The solar power costs about half what he paid for diesel fuel. And the steady supply means he can operate sophisticated printers that wouldn't have worked with his generator. This solar project has brought power to homes and businesses that never had it before. But there's not enough electricity to go around, and only a small fraction of the people here have access to it. Such as the Hussein family, who live a few kilometers from the solar arrays, but the electricity lines don't come out here. The government wants local residents to pay for power lines. The cost is out of reach for this poor neighborhood. <laughs> We would really benefit with electricity, like having a light to study by at night. We could use a washing machine, we could watch TV and see the news. Even some businesses in the main market can't get power, because the system here is already working to full capacity. So far we expanded the diesel generator, but it is very expensive for the bank. We wanted to get the power from the, this company. But they do not have the capacity of this thing. We feel the shortage seriously. Right now we have only one megawatt of electricity. But to provide 24 hours of power for the center of Bamiyan, we need five more megawatts. The electricity chief says the central government doesn't have enough money to implement expansion plans, which include hydroelectric plants. He says the $15 million power project in Bamyan is reputed to be the most effective in Afghanistan. But the cost is tiny compared to the more than $100 billion spent in international aid here in the past 15 years. Despite its limited success, there are still many here waiting for the lights to come on. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Bamyan.